I'm Coa Smith, professional surfer, dreamer, and coffee maker. We're in my underground lair, and I'm about to unbox some cool stuff. Welcome to Coa Unboxing Things. We're gonna unbox some things. It says it right on the packaging. This is a fin puller. What's a fin puller? I don't really know. I've never seen a photo of this. It is in a packaging that looks like it could be a baguette from France. Let's open it up and see what it is. Ooh. Oh, looks like a shoehorn or a spatula. <laughs> so it looks like a spatula that doesn't really open or tongs. And I think you just, well, boom. It's like opening a bottle of fine wine, but you just fwapank. Maybe there's instructions. Fin removal, fin installation. Chapter one. Oh. You put the thing on the thing, and then you go like that, and then you go like that. To take it off, you go like that, and then you go like that. Okay? It says you go like this. Oh, voila! That was easy and you don't slice your hand. You don't have to grab a towel, a rock, or a leash. You can just use the little spatula thing. And put it in, voila. And it's handy, it has a leash string, so you could just put it on your tail and always have it. This is gonna be good for the pit stops, you know? Just If the tour comes back on, maybe I can be like a pit stop in the back room to put on people's fins and change them super. Incredibly quick with the new spatula fin puller. Well, now we're really gonna put it to the test. We're gonna try a side fin. You can't really see, but in here there's like a V. So if you're putting taking the fin out, you wanna clamp the fin and then pull it up. But if you wanna put the fin in, you wanna clamp it so you have that upward pressure and that'll just pop it right into place. I have cut myself a couple times, like my hands are wet, I'm like freaking out, the waves are so good, I'm trying to pop out the fins and slice myself lightly. In the past, you just kind of grab whatever you can, a t-shirt. I saw Slater used his leash, which was really nice. If this thing is around, then this is obviously the best tool to pop in your FCS2 fins. We're gonna put this thing to the test. We're gonna do it pit stop style. NASCAR meets surfing. Let's give it a go. All right, we got a fistful of fins and a fin puller. I'm gonna catch two waves, swap out the fins. We're gonna try fin, four fin, try fin. Boom. Boom. It's just always a scary moment when you go to take out your fins and you're literally holding a blade. And like sometimes it's really easy and it comes out, but sometimes it's hard and the fin's wet because you just surfed. Like, I can't, <sighs> that, look at my, look at my hand. So, that thing's pretty legendary. All right, let's go surf. Change, here we go. Quad fin, here we go. Bang. Well, if you if you put it further back, if you put the fin further back on the groove, it makes it way easier. Not only five shakas, but five high fives too. I love it. It's like it's like. An oversized fin key. Whew, I'm exhausted from that session, but it's not from changing my fins. Two waves come in, pop, 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 pop. I feel like a NASCAR driver, having my crew. I'm gonna take one with me, for sure, everywhere I go. It's too easy. I'm hungry, let's go to the shack, have a little nibble, potentially see if there's anything else to unbox. Let's go. Let's get into it. Ooh. 
Today, we have a bag within a bag, an ex-umi. Let's see what's inside. It looks cool. Looks like you go on an adventure with it. Let's see what's actually inside. This is one of those really cool lounge chairs that all you do is run around in the wind, fill it full of air, crinkle it up, buckle it, and you got a lounge chair. If you look at the instructions. These things can be for the beach, your house. It even claims to be waterproof. I'm gonna crawl out of this child's table, hit the beach, and do some tests. Let's go. Oh, all right. Let's go. Oh, wait. We got a wave coming in a pipeline. Pipeline holds priority here. The swell's coming in a little early, it looks like, but tomorrow's gonna be freaking pumping. Right here, we have an inflatable lounge chair. You're supposed to be able to just run, fill it full of air. It's supposed to be like an inflatable mattress, but you inflate it with the wind. So that shouldn't be hard because the trade winds are blowing. I've seen videos of people doing it and they make it look easy, but let's see how easy this actually is. Run, look at this, trade wind. Now I roll it up. Keep it tight like a dry bag. Pretty much what it is, a giant dry bag. Voila. That was so easy. That was incredible. You know, it does say it's waterproof, so should we go put it in the water? Yeah, we probably should. <laughs> Lazy River on the North Shore. Let's see if it handles. Incredible design, I can't believe it handled that. It's really hard to get out over the waves. Just try to toss it, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. This thing's not for the ocean, but it sure did handle. It's like an inflatable surfboard. This thing's epic. Five chakras. I'm not leaving. I think I'm just gonna chill here all day. I know FCS delivered a package, but I can wait till tomorrow. Aloha. It's like all my dreams are coming true in one box. <laughs> Let's go. Box. Oh my gosh. Oh. These H4s, they're brand new, right on the market. I've been seeing these crazy Instagram ads. I wanted to test these out. That was the main concern here. Look at this packaging. Think H4 speed. Swiss made. I feel like they just took fins to the next level. Let's open them up. They look so interesting. Looks like James Bond made a fin and just released it. This thing looks space tech. This is like the Cybertruck fin. Look at how weird that is. I don't understand it. It's curves upon curves that I've never seen. Three levels of curves here. This is made out of a different material. Look at the little nub here. Seems like this is just what you need in a fin, and they 
cut out all the rest that was just wasting space and drag. Check out the middle fin. I bet you they looked at an orca whale and they said, that is the fin for the middle. Once again, pushing technology for surf. Thank you, FCS. I can't wait to try these. There's sick waves out front, so this will be a fun day. These things, Swiss made, next level, everything you need, nothing you don't need. I don't know, I'm, I'm just looking for like being able to do what I want to do on the wave without any weirdness. Like, if you put on a fin system that doesn't work, you'll really notice it. You'll be trying to do a bottom turn, it'll boggle, or you have to hold back on your top turn. So I'm gonna ride 510 Ghost, kind of my normal shortboard, throw these fins in, see if I can dance on water. fins are really good for flyaways. You always gotta do a couple of flyaway warm-ups just to test the air, test the altitude, see what's gonna happen. Then you can stick your landing after that. These fins feel so good. Even on those waves where I was going super fast, I could feel them give me a little extra drive. So most fins, I feel like when you are going a certain speed, you start to get drag. And these fins were still giving me that extra squirt. The FCS H4s, it's an easy call. Five flying shakas from Koa. Oh my gosh. These are the best fins I've ever rode in my life. If you're stoked on this episode, head over to worldsurfleague.com to see more or click the link in the description below. Aloha. Woo. We want to hear from you. What should I unbox next? What do you want me to break down? What do you want me to try? Because I'm down for pretty much anything. Stay tuned, we got a lot more unboxing coming your way. On this show, we love to share the stoke. So some of the items I unbox will be donated to the North Shore Community Land Trust. The items will potentially be available at their annual auction, which raises funds to help them protect and enhance the natural landscapes, cultural heritage, and rural character of the North Shore. Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there. And then tell us your favorite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.